Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel, The Real Estate Real. I'm your host, Tyler, and today what I'm doing is I'm giving you a temperature check on the real estate market. We're here right now in June of 2022. So as you know right now, pretty much all 2020 and 2021, all anyone was talking about was how hot the real estate market was, how high the trends were, how high the price were, how fast the homes were getting off the market, and the days of inventory were so low. But as we swing into 2022, all we've pretty much been talking about is when is the real estate market going to crash. As we of course know, we wanted to see a market correction in 2022. A lot of people, I should say, wanted to see a market correction in 2022. But, you know, is it evident right now that we already see that market correction? And the answer probably is not so much. Because the only time, two times that the market has actually considerably lowered during the recession was 2008. And then yet another year, which I believe was around 1960 something. So right now in 2022, what we're seeing in the market is um, pretty much today's numbers are showing us how the uh, market shift is starting to happen. Because right now we are in a significant part of the market where we can see a couple months that uh, after a couple months of watching the uh, the real estate market that the market has started to shift. So. Um, pretty much in you know the early February we were still in like a seller's market where you know the homes were still getting over asking price people were, st were still willing to put in multiple offers on a home even if they knew the, the you know the home already had an offer and they were willing to outbid people and now buyers are pretty reluctant to do that because the interest rate has already shot up from January and February of 2022 and where it was at around 3.0 as an interest rate and now four months later in june in the beginning of june we're already at 5.5 as an interest rate so this is a significant change in uh, the interest rate which is pretty much the main cause right now i believe i would say of you know why the market has took took taken a drastic shift so far and what we're seeing with that shift so far is the months of inventory is actually up over one month of inventory for the first time since um, October of 2021. So that's all the way of last year. And it only did that for a brief amount of time, and that was only for one month. The other time before that, we didn't see it till 2020. Till 2020. So that goes for about 22 months of inventory without being over, you know, one month of inventory, which is pretty crazy in itself because. Basically, if we're looking at the months of import inventory, zero to three months is always going to be a seller's market, which insinuates that we are still in the seller's market right now. We haven't take that, took, took that change as drastic as people have thought we have. And, um, you know, I think we are going to, we might see that soon though. So it's a time right now to remember that, you know, we're still not in a buyer's market, but buyers are having the opportunity to, to pretty much you know, negotiate terms now that they might have wanted to before. Where in 2020 and 2021, um, sellers were pretty reluctant to pretty much do anything for the property, which means that, you know, it might be time for buyers to get, uh, pretty much get their return on investment and things of that nature right now. Because in 2020, when we uh, would negotiate with sellers, pretty much, like I said, sellers were reluctant to give any, um, you know, any incentive for the buyer to buy at the close of escrow. They weren't rewarding any uh, you know, fees, any change of carpet, any change of color. And right now, it's not so so much to say that, you know, that's gonna happen in this next couple months, as it, like I said, it's still a seller's market, but sellers and buyers are, you know, able to negotiate better. So we're moving into a, a neutral market, which would be three to six months of inventory. And, you know, once we start to see this, we're going to start to see, you know, like, um, once we see this, we're going to start to see houses stay on the market for longer, which we have already started to see. Um, the average days on market in, you know, average days on market, we're still only 14 days, but that doesn't give a fair, um, overview of all the, all the houses pretty much for the average days on market. Because before when we were seeing in 2021, there was a really, really low days on markets, which were about eight days on markets, eight days on the market. So it's pretty crazy to, um, you know, just sit back and pretty much watch everything that's going on. Of course, um, some, you know, we're seeing more expired listings as well. As a seller, you're where your mind should be at right now is that, you know, 
you should price your home in the best manner possible we're not overpricing your home in the market because if you overprice your home in the market now your price your price is probably going to drop which we've seen over the last couple you know over the last month right now as you know more homes start to drop in price a good um, what I'm gonna show you right now is pretty much a good uh, overview and good statistics on the market by Ryan Lundquist who is a great uh, appraiser out here in Sacramento California so that is one thing that if you are a real estate agent or even if you're not if you're just somebody who already owns a home and you want to stay uh, pretty in tune with what's going on in the market find you a good appraiser like uh, Ryan Lundquist who's gonna give you all the information that you need to you know go over the market and, and view the market how you like so right now like right now between um, the houses that have dropped you can see um, what I'm showing you on the screen that 11% uh, of the homes on the market have took a five to ten thousand dollar decrease so what we're seeing is normally sellers want to put their house on the market they were normally selling within a couple days on the market so sellers were having to take any price reduction and right now we're seeing a huge gap within two weeks if it's not pretty if the house hasn't pretty much sold in two weeks then what we're seeing is the you know the seller will choose the seller and the realtor I'm sure will choose to drop the price on the home so that they can make the home more competitive in the market and that's uh, really a lot of what we're seeing right now and then you know even nine percent of the homes have seen a ten to twenty five thousand dollar decrease in price right now which is you know pretty substantial to what we've uh, seen in the market over the last two years that's what I do want to say but keep in mind before um, the crazy market that we have one of the hottest markets ever in you know decades before all that happened this is a pretty normal market for us right now so like I said we're swinging back into a neutral market which you know might end up to be good for both parties because I've talked to a lot of buyers that did complain even sellers that said that sometimes their house was uh, overpriced and things of that nature but you know um, appraisers were coming in at those prices so we'll see what the market starts to uh, do in the next couple of months but as well as what I want to talk to you about right now also is that the price drops that we've had um, it's pretty crazy that we've had so many price drops as well like I've said and you know we just want to continue to see where the market's gonna go the next couple months just take a step back if you're a seller or a buyer you know and just really observe the market I'm not telling you to hold off on anything because like I said with the interest rates actually adjusting to where they have right now uh, if you watched my other videos before on how prices change with the interest rate, you're really not sub saving a substantial amount of money. But what the Fed was really trying to do is slow down the housing market, which they have. So over the next couple months, we want to just, you know, really look and observe the housing market like we already have been. All professionals are pretty much doing that right now. And, you know, basically just see what's going on with the housing market. I want I want you to comment your opinion below uh, whether you think that the housing market is going to change completely to a buyer's market, which is how I said it's going to be over pretty much six months of inventory. If that is true to be the case, though, we're going to see a lot of a lot more houses pretty much stay on market, and of course we could see another uh, housing crash very soon in the future if that happens because prices are going to continue to drop substantially if that happens. But really, in the reality, of the situation is that there are still demand for you know sellers to sell their homes and buyers to get into houses there are a few few and far between homes where they're still getting four offers on a house four or more offers on the house which you know every seller is still hoping for but we're not seeing those bidding wars like we were before so really I really hope this you know gave you an update on the market today of what's going on in 2022 if you see my video before I predicted that the market would probably you know end up taking a drastic change by the end of 2023 and it shows right now that you know um, it, we are heading in that direction it might actually happen a little before 2023 so maybe in November December during the slow seasons of real estate already and you know just like let me know what you think in the comments below of course like and subscribe and I appreciate you for tuning into this video today I'm gonna start bringing more videos out to you I don't have posted in, in a couple you know in a month so far which uh, was because it wasn't anybody's fault but my own, of course, but I got busy doing things like uh, lead generation and stuff like that that I should be doing, getting more listings, picking up on listings because inventory is higher now. So as a real estate agent, we do, you know, go after, you know, listings sometimes or 
every even if there are some buyers agent i work as an individual agent but like i said of course like and subscribe and we'll be back to you soon thanks for watching